This video is for you guys with the older NVIDIA Shield. I feel like, cause I didn't think about this at first myself, I wanted the newer NVIDIA Shield just for this right here, just the remote. You can just buy the remote for $30 on Amazon, Best Buy, whatever, and you don't have to spend another $200 on this. I like the look of it, but yeah, it's just, it's difficult to use. You know, a lot of people have problems with it. I just want to tell you why you should pay $30 for this one. If you never heard of Video Shield, I don't have any problems with it, but it just costs a lot of money if all you're doing is just streaming. All I do is just stream. If I had to buy anything else, I'd just go with the $50 Google Chromecast that I have downstairs in my living room. Starting with the obvious, you get more buttons. You don't have to deal with that slider for the volume. On the older one, we didn't get much, you see here. This is like a voice command button, back, menu, and a directional pad. Here, <laughs> power, menu, directional pad. We got back, menu, another menu option. Press this to like bring up the open apps and stuff like that. You got fast forward, you got rewind, you got pause and play and the volumes and netflix it has a backlit option it has a light option so if you're in the dark you can't see the buttons you don't have to turn on your your lamp next to you if you go to the settings on your shield once you have this this remote paired up go to shield accessories find your remote and here's the backlight settings. So you can't tell because it's daylight, but I have it to like uh, the dimmest setting, number one, and I have it to activate when I press a button. You can do it like so it activates as soon. Oh, you see it there now a little better. But you can have it activate as soon as you pick up the remote, but to me, that's like a battery waster so i like to set it so when i press a button so i pick up the remote press the power button boom the light is is, is um, lit up but i like to bring the brightness down as well so it doesn't drain the battery but at night you can see it another reason is it's easy to take this battery tray out i have a separate video on how to do that like i go step by step with you i go slow so i don't leave behind but watch that video if you want to know how to take the battery tray out but with the older one you have to press like get a pen or a knife and press in the center here and pop it out so you can do it with just just your hands with this one you can do it with just your hands let me see if i can do it real quick boom i made it a little easy but it takes some practice so yeah if you need to watch that video watch that the last reason why you should get this is it's not easy to lose this one here is thin you can it's, it's, it's like it's purposely made to slide between couches this one has this triangle um what you what would you call it? it's like a cylinder but let me show you my favorite feature say if you you lose it somewhere download the nvidia shield app on your phone you'll connect to your nvidia shield using the app you know using the same wi-fi connection go to the settings find my remote start It plays the sound. It plays this annoying <laughs> sound to help you find it. Don't spend the extra two hundred dollars on this, please. Both versions cost the same. That kind of that should let you know that they <laughs> they both work the same. You want to get like a more portable device, but if you just keep it plugged in, you're not trying to travel with it. This will work. It works the the exact same way as the newer version. So don't pay the two hundred dollars. Pay the thirty dollars, get the remote. I'm, this is the best thirty dollars I spent, y'all. But that's all I have for you guys, man. For you Nvidia Shield owners out there, that's all I got for y'all, man. Much love to each and every one of you. I'm your downloading pirate, and I'm out.